Okay, so let's check out what's going on here. We got a swap out on a uh, variable uh, speed controller that's gone bad on this uh, Seve Silverado. Um, and basically what happens is um, one or two or three of the speeds will go bad um, and then only one will work. Um, and on this scenario, this happens uh, to almost every model where one or two or three of these speeds will go out and only like number three will work, number four will work, or number two will work. Um, and then eventually what happens is that that will actually go out also. Whatever number is left, that will finally go out. Uh, a lot of times you can like, you know, just bang on the dash, the uh, steering wheel for a second really lightly and it'll shake the dash and it'll kick in the uh, fan motor, which is really odd. But the only thing it's doing is this, um, you know, putting a little vibration on the speed controller and helping that little resistor connect and then it kicks right back on. So um, let's take a look at what's going on down here. This is what's really going on. Um, first, you got to remove your uh, cowling. So there's uh, four bolts, as you can see where they are here. Okay, there'll be two here, one here, one here, one's over here, and then another one's over here. The one here is hard to get to, um, but uh, I took that out, I took these two out. That one you can leave in and just swing the cowling back. Um, then there's two bolts that hold this variable resistor or speed controller in the actual blower box. It's very simple to um, take this out. It's only got two screws. Um, the bolts that are, um, the screws that are holding the um the cowling on are um uh nine thirty seconds okay the um the other one is going to be a seven thirty seconds bolt that goes on this um that holds two of these seven thirty seconds okay um so basically if this controller goes up in the in the uh, blower box uh like so okay and then you're going to take out the two screws and then just drop that down and if we take a really close look at this you can see that the the casing here is actually cracked okay and that's from uh this years of wear and tear and abuse and dirt and um that's what happened there so you can see the uh components are rusted here from moisture and that's probably what caused this to fail is moisture in here and um it's burned out it's actually cracked so the variable resistor parts actually cracked the new part uh, looks like this right here you can see the uh the difference um this totally brand new um, it's got um, a relay on it, a power cord on it, and then it has the plug-in for different speeds. So um, they sell them in different uh, models, and um, there's cheaper ones and there's more expensive ones. Um, and I would say buy the middle one, um, this Master Pro. We had good luck with those. I'm not, um, you know, saying buy the Master Pro, but um, you know, it was like 48 bucks, and they last a long time. It's going to outlast this truck. But it's a very simple, just unplug this, unplug the other one there, the red and the black, plug it back in exactly how you found it, put the two screws back, uh, put the cowling back, put in your four screws, and it's done. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. Um, but if you have, if the AutoPost store is going to ask you if you have an automatic or a uh, <laughs> a manual, it sounds funny, but it's that's what they're going to ask you. And the manual system is looks like this is where it's controlled by manual. Uh, if it's automatic, it's gonna look more like your radio with a digital readout, okay? So it's that simple, guys. Just, this is a work truck, so it's a little dirty, but um, that's as simple as it gets. His truck has uh, 168,000 on it right now, and it never let me down. So well, I think we put on a water pump, um, a couple belts, alternator, a, a let's see brakes all the way around and we also did the um the booster and the master cylinder so basically um it's in pretty good shape it runs like a like a horse we drag trailers behind this um every day all day long and um it's a beast so anyway hope you enjoyed that video hope it helps you guys out it's a very simple process it's very cheap